Businesses everywhere are adapting to try to stay afloat during the pandemic. CEO and founder of Harvard Cook and Girl, Bibi Kasra is joining us now. Bibi, good morning and good to see you. Good morning. I love it. It's the first time you are on my set. I'm usually on your set. You are on my set. And there's a reason we're on your set right now. Uh, you are one of the many businesses in San Diego who is just rolling with the pandemic and doing everything that you can to survive right now. Tell us a little bit about what happened to you and, and your business in the past few months. Well, mine started when it started in Asia because my events, my cooking events, my corporate team building events are booked ahead of time. So I felt when people started, corporations started to actually cancel their events uh, because their Asian teams could not travel from Australia, Japan, China. I started refunding everyone as, you know, a business, good for a business person would do and thought others would come. And then, you know, February, March, April, May, uh, everything started drying up and nothing, like not a phone call. And then government told us, you can, I mean, the right thing to do was to shut, but, uh, you know, we don't get any incoming business mm -hmm. and we still have the overhead. We have to pay the rent. So that's where small businesses hurt. When we had BB on our show uh, a while back, she, you own a, like a cooking, um, chef, all kinds of fun stuff, and you're in La Jolla, you have a business yes. in La Jolla, and you were on our show doing uh, cooking with, with kids. Yes. When you, you know, I come from a family too that has a, a small business, and when, when the money starts to dry up and the customers mm -hmm. stop coming, I have to imagine that is terrifying for your business. Yeah, I mean, imagine being a sole provider, two kids in college, a mortgage, I have put my dream for 11 years into this business and I see it in comatose and I have tried everything. I mean, I literally just sold the house. I, um, I have invited, I want this to be a call to all the chefs to actually come and use this space to do your online classes, your Zoom classes. I don't want to make money. I just want to keep the door open pay the rent and water and electricity. So I have doing Zoom classes, you know, everybody is doing free cooking classes online now, mm -hmm. no matter who they are and what their background. Um, so, you know, people are saying, why would I even pay 10 bucks to come on her Zoom class? Well, because cooking for fun is different than cooking for techniques. You know, I want to invite my friend Tommy to come and show us how to fillet a fish. I want to invite people uh, to do sous vide. I want to, pe you know, people to learn the techniques that you would, or tricks, or, you know, entertaining kids, adults. That's what I'm trying to do. And trying to say that we should all, as a community, right now, it's tenant against landlord. No, it shouldn't be like that. It should be all of us, you know, helping each other, sharing the pain. I will do a little bit, you do a little bit for me instead of me against you. You're offering cooking classes uh, online and, and people can, you're right, and we have the time now, we're at home. So <laughs> it is different than just watching somebody who loves to cook, who somebody's a professional. And, and every little bit, I was, uh, you know, when I was learning more about what your business is going through and you're like many businesses, every little bit helps. It's the little gift cards. It's if, if 10 people sign up for a, a cooking class. Exactly. All, all of these will get you through the next few months until yes. you, this is all over. But the goal is to keep your doors open. Correct. That's all I'm trying to do because it's a good business. The model, you know, I've tried to do for the last 11 years, always bettering, improving myself based on the customer feedback. And my customers are little kids and our CEOs, titans of the corporation. If I told you, mm -hmm. you know, the CEOs of what companies have held their events here, locally, internationally, nationally, it's amazing, you know, but I listen to all of them. I listen to chefs who come. 
I want to help others while helping myself. Right. Um, yeah. And, you know, you are helping, Shali. You know, what you are yeah. doing is helping well, too. We, everybody is trying to help and we have an amazing community here in San Diego. All hands are on deck and everybody's trying to help. Bibi, before you go, you even have a, it's just to show how easy it is to be able to do these cooking classes. <laughs> You're going to show us how to make something right now on TV, right? Yes, okay. I apologize because this, I said, okay, it's morning breakfast. So okay. I want to show you because this has been very popular during the pandemic. So how easy it is I love to have a healthy breakfast, but uh -huh. I didn't love muesli. You know, muesli is too raw of an oatmeal for me. So I make my own granola. Okay. So I put oat on this. I have to show you everything your producer told me like that. <laughs> I'm going to toast a little bit the granola. Okay. And then put my honey all over it. That's what honey. makes them stick. Got it. Yes. Then in a bag, in a bag, put all the nuts that you like. Okay. Here I have almond, coconut, pecan, um, uh, walnut. Okay. okay. Then you take a mallet. Mallet. And it's stress Mash. release. Yes. Okay. <laughs> and then you bang on it until it's all crumbled like that. Okay. And you throw it all over this. Your toasted already a little mm -hmm. bit granola mm -hmm. and you pop it back into the oven got it and voila voila this is what you're gonna have you see look how easy that was and we learned that yes. on the on the tv you don't have to go to like a real cooking class you can still do it on exactly. tv exactly <laughs> bb you're awesome i love your smile i love your energy uh, we'll get the information if people want to the, do the cooking classes you do it a date night Mwah. with your your hubby uh your wifey in the kitchen and you guys can cook Thank together you. We'll get the information to Harvard. Uh, You're cooking. a good cook. We should do our own cooking Ooh, show together. Oh, I like Charlie. that. We can do I that together. You. We will do that. Fox5SanDiego.com. Click the scene on tab and we'll get you hooked up uh, with BB.